we've heard many times that it takes a village. It means that we all have to pull together. When a family is encountering a situation that may be unknown to the rest of the society, it's easy for us to look at that family and judge what the part that we are able to see. But being able to really tap in and offer resources and offer assistance that that family is going to need in order to overcome that and actually be more prosperous, that's the challenge. Community and family partnership is really being able to tackle those situations or problems that families encounter. So really focusing on what those needs are that prevent a family from thriving in our community. Most people want to be great parents and they really care about their kids. We just have to look at those obstacles that they have to overcome and keep our uh, trying and putting forth our best effort to really help them get over those. We've been able to build more of a network within our service providers. I really feel that the community, communication between different agencies has improved and that we're really more of a team in trying to address those issues with families. We're deeply rooted in, into the partnership. You know, we're, we're just a direct reflection of, of, of our community in Columbus. And so any time that you have parents um, in need or students in need, we want to be at the table to help and be part of the solution. We had so many families and so many uh, children in need. That caused us as a school district to look inward. How can we best help our students? And then how can the uh, Community and Family Partnership also help us in that process? And so that process started actually with mental health vouchers. Uh, mental health vouchers turned into us hiring more social workers. And then here lately we've hired uh, li licensed mental health practitioners. So the CFP kind of kick-started us into the process of working with our students and their social emotional health. There is a large population in Schuyler that falls beneath the poverty level, and there are over 400 children that live beneath poverty level. And so we are constantly worried about children having enough food, having shoes and winter coats, and the collaborative helps bring all of that together. Uh, it brings us closer as a, as a community. Without community and family partnership, I know that the food pantry wouldn't have been as successful. They wouldn't have thrived as much as they did. When the pandemic hit in 2020, we were serving about 30 families a month. And all of a sudden, uh, we were serving 100 to 150 families a month. Community and family partnership invested in that. They saw the need and they were there to help find grants and make phone calls and, and give funds for groceries and diapers and basic supplies. I believe in Columbus, we have probably some of the hardest working people I've ever been around. These parents work very hard to give their children what, what they need. Our partnership with the CFP and what we're doing for children and families in our community is extraordinary. It is so important to have strong families in our communities because I believe it has a trickle down effect. You know, um, if we have strong parents who are able to provide for their children, uh, they're happy, then the children are thriving. Strong families make Columbus and Schuyler better places to live because you get the sense of a small community, you get the sense of people that truly and authentically care for each other, knowing that there are resources that they are helping you get access to, but also wanting to see the future of our community grow as a whole. I've seen the collaborative make changes in our community. The collaborative uh, is one way we all come together and it helps us all thrive. 
It takes all of us to be able to build a community.